Praise the Lord. Shalom. Shalom. Triple CI District. We are coming to you uh, against uh, the backdrop of uh, the great uh, pandemonium that has gripped the world due to the uh, coming of this uh, coronavirus that has caused problems uh, globally. Uh, to the extent that uh, most countries have uh, total lockdown and shutdown. But uh, we are coming to you with a word from God. Let me first of all remind you that uh, in his uh, message, uh, the crossover message of 2020, uh, the Apostle of God, our Father, Archbishop Guti, gave a prophetic word, a prophetic message, uh, in which he told us uh, of the things that are unfolding before us. We are experiencing these things and uh, they have brought a lot of fear, a lot of panic uh, the world over. However, uh, in his message, uh, the servant of God encouraged every uh, Zayaja Forward in Faith believer to have a strong uh, relationship with God. And I would like to say to you in adding my voice to the message already that we have received from the servant of God. I would like to say to you in the book of John chapter 16 and verse number 33. The Lord Jesus said in this world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Uh, this world here uh, that we are in is an imperfect world. In fact, it's a fallen world. Uh, there are forces, dark forces, that are at play and at work within the lives of uh, the people. But uh, Jesus, uh, in that particular scripture, he gave that encouragement saying, Do not fear. I, over I have overcome the world. Yes, there will be tribulation. There will be trouble. Uh, there is uh, turmoil and turbulence, uncertainty that has gripped people. But we as children of God, we ought to have our faith anchored in God. It is only in God and in His Word that we take comfort. Uh, the words of uh, uh, the psalmist comes to mind where he says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Yes, we thank God for scientists, we thank God for doctors, we thank God for all uh, the medical efforts that are being done to um, try and save lives. Uh, but we know that ultimately, uh, unless God is behind our efforts, uh, all our labor and our efforts are in vain. So I'm saying to you, uh, let's remember the, uh, the most uh, famous uh, psalm of all, uh, where um, David says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. And he, he then says, Yeah, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I just read before this broadcast, I uh, checked and an update uh, on the coronavirus, the spread, uh, just telling us that it has reached over 500,000 infections around the world. Uh, these are those that uh, have been recorded. And uh, deaths are into tens of thousands of people. And yet we come to you uh, as children of God, covenant children of God, and say to you, uh, remember Psalm 91, where uh, the psalmist says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely 
He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings also you will trust. His truth is your shield and your buckler. You will not be afraid for terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence, the pestilence, the deadly sickness uh, that moves in the darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. For a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. So I'm saying to you, trust in God. Put your faith in God. Lay hold your faith on God. Anchor your faith on God and in His Word. Know that you are indeed a child of God. You are a covenant child of God. And take, take uh, hope from that Word. Um, uh, let me give you another scripture from the book of Psalms. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Psalm 27 verse number 13. The uh, psalmist there says, I would have despaired. I would have lost hope. Um, people around the world have lost hope. They have despaired. Economies are shrinking. Uh, people are losing jobs. Uh, people are becoming hopeless. But I want to say to you, the, uh, the, the psalmist says, I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I would like to say to you, uh, you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. We had SARS a few years ago. We had MERS. A few years ago, it came, it passed. And I am here to tell you that COVID-19, coronavirus 19, COVID-19, also shall pass. But we as children of God, we take comfort in the scriptures. Take comfort in knowing that the Lord is our refuge. He is our protection. He will protect us. He will deliver us. So I am saying to you, fear not. Fear not. Fear not triple uh, CI. Any child of God who will come into contact, uh, who will uh, be able to watch or to listen to this audio, I'm saying to you, fear not. Trust in God. Put your faith in God. Because the Lord is indeed your refuge. He is your strength. Trust in Him. Uh, we are going to be praying uh, and uh, speak the blessing and the protection of God over every child of God. While you take every precaution as uh, instructed by uh, our governments and the health professionals, we would also say uh, we trust in the word of God. We trust in our God. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, everyone, O oh God, of the children who is looking for hope, who may be discouraged, who is in fear, who has uncertainty, I pray in the name of Jesus that you release your faith in them, that they are encouraged. We come against the spirit of fear. We come against the spirit of fear to go. While your people will exercise caution, they will not operate in fear. They will not be gripped by fear. In the name of Jesus, we give you the glory, Father, for strengthening your people, for covering your people with, with, with your blood and your protection. I even invoke uh, the uh, priestly uh, Levitical um, blessing. Uh, as I say, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. Father, you have said when we do this, we'll put your name on over your people. So in your name, I have placed your name over your people. In Jesus' name, amen.